what's up guys, Zen of course, welcome to your course, our VPL battle week 4 against Freedomion. And if you see my team analysis, you pretty much are sure here that I am facing a matchup I did not prepare for whatsoever. Or, you know, to some extent, but I definitely did see Flare Yarn on Mobile ma making it, which had me both relax and kind of stressed out at the same time because I have nothing really prominent for mobile and I was so sure Victini and Fly was going to make it for this battle that not seeing them had me shivering a bit because I pretty much was facing a team here where I just I couldn't make up my mind on what you know I have to decide for what I have to match up with and um, it looks like Fridamion did decide to take a more defensive route against me which is dangerous because I obviously go in hyper-offensively as always really, but in this fashion I'm actually going all out. Uh, I have only one defensive response, but of course Jelly sent for his team, and it might, it looks like it might not do that much. And uh, without that said really, I guess I should say that I have of course Coloberry Latias, which I'm going to leave with no matter what. I really need to check out whether or not his Crocodile is a defensive set with uh, Stealth Rocks or if it is a more or an offensive one with Scarf, whether or not it is, I am able to survive a hit from it due to Coloberry. So that's really all I'm gonna do. I have so few options of making the game longer. All I can do here is offensively match his presence and eventually hope I can break through. And all I can say there is that that is a tough cookie against a player such as for Domium. So with all I said, let's go. So, alright, with all that said, we are going to get that optimized lead, of course, being that he's going to lead off with Crocodile, as lead off with, of course, Avira de Ladios, as, damn it. Anyway, we are now going to find out that it is a Scarf set, which is a good thing that we do find out that it's Scarf, but it's a bad thing because I'm not able to take two of those whatsoever. Energy Ball will push it down, but the thing is, due to him not having Victini in his team, I have no reason here to not switch out to my Pillow Swine since Knockout doesn't necessarily hurt me and I don't really need a bulk anymore due to the matchup alone. It just won't work. So Knockout doesn't do really anything to me. I know it has to switch out, bearing the eye shot, and I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake. He's of course feeling that I went for an Icicle Crash or a uh, Eye Shard. Goes to Mowal, and well, let's just say it like this. It's not an optimized switch in for Palos Swine. while well, I see what it's coming from. Sadly, that was not the right move to make. And due to my speed investment, I am so banking on him not being offensive. If it's offensive Iron Head, then it will kill me, but I am actually faster showing me that it's probably a more defensive set. Hell, the damage output so show me that it's more defensive set. So it doesn't get his rocks up. Mole is out of the question. As Raimi, of course, is going to come in. The Stormy. And I have so few switch into this, so all I really could do here was actually switch out to Necromedusa, which of course being the LZ and Hover for Skull as it goes for Saishan. Luckily for me though, he does score a crit here, but it doesn't do all that much as he keeps going for it as I'll just recover. And that's the only options I have here because Stormy now effectively is um, not a threat for me. Now I did fear possible Thunderbolt. But it didn't switch out for us, which had me believe he could be Scarf. As he goes to Mom's jokes, as I think it's like go around for a skull, just basically shipping for a burn, fearing that it would switch out. Now we don't get the burn, of course we're not. We're getting crit of all the things, which you guys can see hardly matters for that kind of matchup. So I'm just gonna bring through Vorales the Tornadus. Since I do want this uh, Venusaur quite well, and I have really nothing to fear against it, of course. I didn't take it to assumption, of course, that it could pack Sleep Powder. So, Venusaur shuts down my Tornadoes right here. And all I was thinking is, okay, I now need to find a way to wake up. So, he's gonna switch out, I'm obviously saying, in hoping for the best. And he's gonna go to Solbeck, of course, with the Crocodile. And um, I have to make a call here. Will it go for a knockoff or will it go for. Uh, um, an Earthquake, fearing my switch out, I need to go back to Fork Pit, basically trying to take this Earthquake which I was feeling was coming, as it goes for Stone Edge. And it doesn't do all that much, and um, he actually forgot here that I get side shot, as I was thinking that he wouldn't switch out, taking a risk on me and taking a gamble as I went for an eye shot, knocking out the Crocodile, which is just awesome. So here comes Sylveon, and right on out of it, I knew, alright, I have to sack Pillow Swine, but I actually outspeed 
And this was weird, like I didn't really think too much about it, I kinda was thinking I wasn't Sylvia on 60 pace speed, hmm. But at the game here I was thinking, alright, maybe, maybe it's 50 pace, you're screwing it up. So I'm just gonna go to Tracy on here and all I really knew, need to do now is go for Rock Climb. It hits everything on his team very, very, very hard. As it goes to Mom's jokes, and uh, we do connect to Rock Climb as it actually does a plethora of damage. I'm not gonna take any risk here, I'm just gonna overstand her, but being the safe remove of the two, and we are gonna knock out Mega Venusaur like that was nothing. Bulk what? No, we are not feeling that. So anyway, here comes Raimi, and uh, I'm just gonna switch out. I really don't wanna get Skull Burn. Um, I, I shouldn't take that risk, at least not yet, as it goes to Necromedusa. And he just goes for Sysok, and I was thinking, okay, this guy though, this guy, he's making the calls, he's making the prediction. And right here and now, all I really, really can't do is trying to, you know, get some recovery going. I need to have my Jellicent healthy against the Flareon. That's really all I can do. But I was thinking, alright, he's going to go for Hyper Voice. I'm not sure I can take that. I'm really not sure. So I'm just going to go to Viralis, trying to soak that, of course. Because why not, right? And Hyper Voice is just still a lot, even with Assault Vest in mind. I do wake up the next turn, go for Sludge Wave. Well, he has the berry to reduce that damage. I was much better off going for Hurricane. Next slot we will kill him, but that did nothing. As he goes for another Hyper Voice, but at least, you know, I know I can take another one. And here is the reason I actually was outspeeding him. <laughs> He's actually mild or something like that. He is a slow nature with freaking quick attack. <laughs> Which is awesome because he takes out my tornadoes. And the thing is here, I didn't really reconsider it because, you know, when he was showing that he was slower and then my Palos one, I was just thinking I was messing up. But no, I'm not. It's packing quick attack and it doesn't do, you know, a lot of damage, but it does sting a bit and it actually out prioritize, of course, on without any priority whatsoever. I don't know why I said that. But anyway, I kind of screw up here against Sylveon thinking that Skull was enough to kill it. It isn't. And here comes Stormy, and I don't want to take any chances here. So all I'm gonna do now is switch in Ladia, seeing if it has Thunderbolt or not. He goes for another side shock, which kinda ensures me that alright. Alright, he doesn't have Thunderbolt. That is good. That means that we can recover stall against it if I so desire. So I'm just gonna lose Safira right here now because I can't switch in anything against an ice beam anyway. And I was thinking, right, let's just wrap things up with uh, Scolipede, because Scolipede, after one uh, speed boost, is faster than Starmie. Somehow I forgot that, you know, I didn't go for Protect here from the beginning and I lose Scolipede right here and now and I, all of I can say is I freaking messed up but, you know, with that said, I'm obviously going to show you guys an alternative thing that probably happened and the reason I was so screwed there You can't feed me, motherfucker What? <laughs> what? What the fuck is wrong with you? So as you guys see, clearly that wasn't me, that was actually Viking Rander. But anyway, I of course right now know I can live the side shock and I'm just gonna recover and get myself healthy. And back in my mind there, all I was thinking is, what if Flareon has bite? What if it has bite? I still have Coldberry intact, but I was thinking I need to stay healthy, I can't attack him, I just keep, need to keep, keep my health. And um, yeah, in the back of my head there should probably, from the beginning, just stayed in with Jellison taking that risk because Taurus would probably knock this out and uh, instead you know I went to high road took a scholarship thinking you know what you would have been nice if you worked just once well that didn't happen <laughs> so anyway we're gonna just juggle back and forth with of course Sideshock and I gonna recover keep trying myself to get some get as healthy as possible basically and um, like you like guys can see we've seen leftovers now had I dented the Starmie earlier, I would probably have considered that it probably wasn't locked into anything either. But yeah, probably messed that up against Starmie, you know, getting getting over nervous and over predicting as fuck and eventually I actually knock my whole team or my half my team back up. So anyway, here comes of course Flareon, all I'm gonna do now is recover because the only way for him to damage me possibly is with Bite and Bite is not a 3 hit KO. Even, actually I take that back. It could possibly be with Toxic, but I actually never caught that. But it's gonna show me a Flare Blitz, which basically means that he has probably Flare Blitz and uh, um, Superpower, which would be an ideal 
um, idle set for this specific loot battle, but luckily for me, I guess you should say uh, I am in a good spot here where Flareon basically can kill himself. And I do believe we win this game 2 0. And I will say this though had Flareon knocked out Jellison from the first Flare Blaze if I haven't recovered, uh, Taurus would not have taken that hit, which would have meant that the Free Domin actually would have won this game. And that's something to keep in mind. I mean, it's a 2-0, and yeah, it looks really safe for me. And from, of course, from mid-game there until Starmie come out and I start switching out, and I don't know what the hell I'm really... But um, Pre-Jamon actually had a pretty darn good chance, even mid-game against me, even though I got that massive moment with Palace Wine. So, okay, the wrap-up. I really, really want to just state to you guys that even if it's a 2-0 victory in my favor, it's not a very comfortable one. And it could probably have been bigger, at least 4-0, but as you guys saw there, I was messing up kind of bad there against uh, Starmie. But I actually started messing up even already with, of course, his Sylveon. There was really no reason for me to try and, you know, hope that Tornado's gonna wake up against that. The, since I actually had a Pokemon that not only was faster but could knock it out, there was no reason bringing in Tornadoes like that. And he got the KO, so you know, for, for what is worth, that is actually really, really cool, the Hyper Voice and Quick Attack combo. I never really realized that he probably had a physical set being with my powers when I was speeded. Never crossed my mind throughout this game. And of course, you know, not protecting with Scalopede, just what a brain fart from my side. I know I'm, I'm slower than Starmie, but that was, that was just embarrassing. But yeah, I mean, outside of that, I think I do a lot of good plays there, but... Um, I also relax a bit too much once um, the Sylveon is down because then I start overthinking, over overthink how good his Stormy possibly could be. He didn't have Thunderbolt. He was suspecting that I would be a special defensive um, Yellison, which would have to it been to it killed by Stormy. But I was defensive this time, therefore it wasn't possible. But um, yeah, I think he prepped right, but. Um, Obviously, I prepped for something else, therefore I was defensive. And outside of that, I really, really messed that part up. I was really scouting for records that Thunderbolt switching into Latias. I could have switched into something else afterwards there. I had a lot of things that we would have been able to take an ice beam from. Uh, <laughs> from Stami, Scolopy for one, and then Protect, of course. I didn't do that, and I think I get heavily punished for that. I think I really... I am close enough to screwing this game up, which was basically in the bag from that point on. So, um, to free Domion, you know, you were so close to winning that. Had I had I lost the game for those plays, that would have been a well-earned loss for me, because that was just messed up. But if anything, thank you so much for this battle, I really, really enjoyed it. And, uh, well, I hope we'll battle soon again. I mean, closing in on the next generation now, which kind of makes it feel unlikely, but... For what it's worth, I'm enjoying those three games we had, and um, this was definitely a very interesting one, so good sets on you, if anything. And for everybody else who's watching, make sure...